Welcome back guys, today we'll be reviewing three snakes and doing a clean out tank. Here we have the spider orange dream, big female, and his name's Syndrome, because obviously spiders have the head wobble. Beautiful patterns, right on the side, lovely pattern on the head like the eyes, the belly is quite good, spots, see the patterns and that's what makes a spider, these lines. And see, it's quite like fat as well. It's not overweight, it's not underweight. It's quite a good size and it, it bred the other day. So yeah, that's one of them. That's one done. And now we're going to be moving over onto the boy lesser. Don't worry, we, we took out the water for this because he was under it all the time. So yes, boy lesser, as you can see straight away, all the bright yellow. I'll put them on the bed here. Bright yellow on the side. Not not too fat, not too skinny, but not quite big enough to breed yet. It's got a really nice stripe going down just off the head, mm -hmm. which I'll try and let you lot see. Just here. Yep. Nice stripe. And if you see here, this is what makes the lesser, the orange, and then the circles, the holes in. Sort of, they sort of look like eyes. It's quite a big, healthy snake. And size. the belly is quite nice and white. Belly's good, belly's good. Decent thickness. And the face, I love the line that Harry just mentioned, the light on its face going through the eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, now, now we're moving on to, to his bigger snake, a Bruce, a normal clown. And yes, we are cleaning the tank. So yes, this this is his tank setup. I forgot to mention all the tank setups, but they're all just in paper. Yeah. This one's in a feta gallon lug. This is, this is his shed. Big shed. Big shed, and then yes. Oh, so now I have to be cleaning his tank. He's all soggy. So I'll be putting him here for the minute. So I have to wait for my friend to show me. As you can see, the clown does these circles with the eyes, almost like the lesser reverse got a lovely line down its back and that almost makes this the clown the spots these are the 50 gallon can you show me the face tops yep and the tail's lovely and black what needs the 50 gallon yep top shirt as you can see ooh. i'll try and get his face right there there's his face there it is oh he's, he's a bit camera shy today but that's okay. Well, move on to the belly. Yep, white. The belly's nice and white. I can get his head now, Luke. Oh, there we go. There's yeah. his lovely head. You see the patterns on his head. Looks quite good. And I like his eyes. So, yeah. let me. The belly. Very nice and white. So, let's move on. So, now cleaning. Cleaning the soggy tank. Right, this is a 50 gallon oh. tank. We have tissue at the bottom. And then the water. There. I'm just going to be putting this on my floor because I don't want to show you my bin. Use a dry this. Yep. <laughs> All I have to do is just clean it out. <laughs> it's not my favourite thing to do, but it has to be done. So wet in here. So whatever you have to do, if the bowl like, obviously spills, you have to drain it down with water or pour in like a bowl or something. Yeah, I'm just, Yep. So for the quality, I have to try rip the paper. I don't know. I've got to get. Gee. Now he definitely knocked over his bowl fully. It would have been nice for him to have a nice little drink before he knocked over the bar. But yes, if you're ever going to snake, this is the pain. My friend's going to take over in a minute, so I get him some paper. And guys, yes, if you want to skip through, it's going to be a little while because we have to get some, get this yeah, water out with paper. That into a sink uh, yeah. Good. Uh, well, yeah, we've decided we're going to pour in a sink. 
Okay, you hold. You have the snake. I'll do it. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna attempt to pour in here. See how this goes. For mortar, so this is the snake, the clown is what we're dealing with here. Nice little patterns on his head, these little rings with black dots in them. Nice white belly. So now we've got all the water, and we just have to give it a wipe, obviously. Yeah, if you guys ever have your snake stuck in a bowl, I recommend pouring it back into the bowl and throwing away the bowl. And then this is the big pain of having snakes. And I do recommend if ever you're going to get your first snake, don't go for a red tail boa. Or I reckon you should go for a hog nose for your first ever snake. Or a python. Or a corn. They're quite good as well. But yeah, I think for your first ever snake you go for, should be a hog nose. As I said, guys, if you do want to skip this part of the video, that's okay. So we just. Wiping it all down. Some nice fresh water. Yep, we've got some good water. Nice fresh. Might have to just tip some of that out in a minute. <laughs> this too is taking very long. Harry, Harry, can you pass me three? Three. Sorry, guys. I just have to quickly pick it down so I can rip this. Cool. So, yeah, we just put two layers. I'll probably have to do this again after this video because I don't think I did it very well because it's quite hard with one hand. But that's how you do it. Of mm. course. Can you pull some of this out, Harry? And like we're just gonna pour some of the water out and, the drop, please, the and then put the water back in and then we're done. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Put the water there. And then snake back in. And then there we go. So I have to clean your snake's cake. Done. Alright. Thank you for watching guys. Have a good day.